What it do, man? It's your boy Chino Chase. You need to tune in to Chino Chase Selects, a new YouTube series I'm doing to where I'm gonna highlight some of my favorite photography that I've taken along my journey. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. First photo I wanna talk about is a photo I took of the homie Paul Wall. Paul Wall, baby. We took this photo out there in Houston, Texas, as we're scouting for locations for the Hater Season music video. As me, Paul, and Michael Ortiz are driving around, we pulled up to this railroad tracks and Paul backed up his car and we shot some shots right there. As we're filming, I noticed that there was 100% spray painted on the train, so I asked Paul if he could stand there and let me take some photos of him, and of course he agreed. I really like this photo because if you know Paul, he's always in good spirits, he's always smiling, he's a real good dude, and just to be able to capture him smiling, showing his grill and wearing the Order Mob shirt, it just made an amazing photo. The second photo I want to talk about is a photo I took of the King of Memphis, Young Dolph. And if you know me, man, all I would jam is Young Dolph. So anytime that I got to link with Dolph and do some behind the scenes work or photo work, video work, or anything like that, it's always a crazy experience for me just because of how much I really jammed his music. I took this photo on behind the scenes of Key Glock's music video, Dope. Now, if you know Dolph, he directed a lot of his music videos and he was really into film work. So be able to capture this photo of him standing right there by the playback screen and with the lights on the side and it's just him, he was in director mode. And you know how much I love filming videos and just being able to see him work on set, it was amazing. I really like this photo because I really like the Fenty shirt he's wearing and the, the flipper chain that he just got. I saw the flipper chain a couple of times on Instagram, but then being able to see it in person, it was amazing. RIP Young Dolph. The third photo I want to talk about is a photo I took of Chief Sosa, Chief Keith. I took this photo on the behind the scenes of the music video Bus, which features Chief Keith, Paul Wall, and C Stone. We shot this photo at Johnny Dang Jewelry Shop, and as we were between shots, everybody was kind of just chilling on the balcony, smoking and playing ping pong with Johnny. And Chief Keith randomly came up to me and he was like, hey, you taking photos, taking stills? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing all the behind the scenes work for this. And he was like, hey, come take some photos of me and send them to me so I can put them on my Instagram. So of course I agreed. So as I followed him to where he wanted to take the photos, I noticed half of his face was in the sun and the other half was in the shade. I really wish that he was either all in the sun or all in the shade, but I made it work. I really like this photo because if you look closely at his chain, he's wearing Johnny Dang's chain, a diamond version of Johnny Dang. <laughs> so after I took these shots, I quickly went home and I edited them and I sent it to him on Instagram, but he never checked. But it was still cool to get asked straight from Chief Keith to take some photos of him and it turned out to be one of my favorite photos I've taken. All right, the fourth photo I wanna talk about is a photo I took of the King Remembering in Time, Big Crit. Big Crit was also one of my favorite artists that I would always jam a lot of his music and I definitely know a lot of his catalog music. So when I got approached by DJ Hella Yella to do some media work for the Beat 1023, of course I agreed. Crit was in town for the King Remembered in Time tour at Emo's Austin. I really like this photo because just the way the lights are hitting Crit and kind of how Crit's standing with his hand on his hip, holding the mic, talking his shit on his raps. And then you look down, you just see the Air Jordan ones too. So as soon as the concert was over, I quickly went home, edited the photo and uploaded it to my Instagram. Went to bed and then when I woke up the next day, I noticed that Big Crit liked my photo. It's always great to get acknowledged by the people you're taking photos of, especially when it's Big Crit. The fifth photo I wanna talk about is a photo I took of the Trill OG, Bum B. I took this photo on set of the In My Trunk music video, which also features Young Dolph and Maxo Cream. Before Maxo and Dolph got there, we were doing uh, some solo shots of Bun, and they just set up the lights, and then Bun asked me, he was like, hey, come take some photos of me. I wanna see how this light hit me and see how it looks. So of course I agreed. I really like this photo because how you can see Bun's chains real clear and he's wearing the Balenciaga shirt. I really like how he's standing between the car doors too. It was just a, a great portrait of Bun. As soon as I snapped the photo and then I looked at it on the camera, I knew it was easily one of my favorite photos I've taken. And being a big UGK fan, RIP to the pimp, it was everything, man. And that's it for this episode of Chino Chase Selects. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, at Chino Chase, and I'll see y'all on episode two.